We're at 9 o'clock and we're heading off to FH9. <laughs> Searching for FH9. We're almost there, getting close. We gotta go that way. Get the crew with us. Hey. Oh. as if it's raining but it's not raining it's just all the streams and there's a hole there a cave <laughs> wow that is some good drop there's some more caves here some Some huge waterfall. Ah, there's some bird that lives here. Yeah. We reach the big stream. Big drop. Big drop. Hundreds of meters, lots of water. Looking for the path. Old paths here. Some strange thing going on with the clay. Wow, what is that? <laughs> Something's living there. I'll tell you that much. Golden clay. All right, so we find the points. Looks like they're kind of marked, so it's not terribly bad. Just hard to find the paths to get here. There's some different various paths. Oh, this golden clay is pretty cool, actually. Let's see if I don't get lost here. I do have my GPS, Peter's GPS, I should say. He's hiding there in the jungle. So yeah, marked out about three points so far. More coming soon. We'll be clearing the way. This is the boundary. And it's older, been cleared for a while, a long time ago, but not as good anymore. So yeah, it's been cut up a bit just to clear, which is good. Makes it easier. Little streams and creeks along the way. Who needs video games or virtual reality? Here you have this. Let's come to the jungle. In the barefoot folks it's just too muddy and nasty here I have to wear boots it's not too much dangerous but it would slow me down too much at this point so walk much faster and longer I don't wear socks with them it's natural rubber and it doesn't feel bad once you're used to it of course, I would prefer a wider toe, but that's all that's available in Ecuador for now. And it would be nice for a zero drop, but it grips much better than bare feet in clay and mud. So, protects from ants and razor sharp grasses and thorns, which there's actually not too much of a oh, shelter.
make sure really change changes often here. Love these flowers. <laughs> so many things to see. Es bueno limpio, sí. clean water. Por eso soy muy fuerte, Mauricio. <laughs> ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué tomas algo limpio? Sí. Inching <laughs> closer and closer, 350 meters away. And this is a normal path here. This is pretty magical. That's really like Jumanji here. Not Jumanji, what am I saying? Some jungles there. Like the uh, Jurassic Park, that's what it is. <laughs> Jurassic Park sand and huge cliff, probably 40 meters up. No, it's beautiful with the sunshine. It's a little hot, so I tied my hair up in this. Some clean water on the boundary. Finally, we reached the boundary. Well, I guess that's in the previous video, so now we walk it. And this part is steep. Some parts. Pretty clear. <laughs> That's good. I don't know where the point is, it says 12 meters, and I'm gonna find it. It's very steep here, nothing. Almost finished two more points. Here's Rio Zamora. Rio Zabora. Wow, so nice. Muy lindo. Oh, it's cheap. Rio Zamora. Ah, Camino. Ay. Camino. Ah, Tigre. <laughs> oh. Ah. Uh, Eros or algo. Tigre. Tigre, verdad. In serio? There's a tiger, maybe. <laughs> Look at that, the birds. Abajo es finca? Finca. Donde vives? No, esta es finca no? de San Carlos. San Carlos. Ah, San Carlos. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're almost at the last point. Some nice woods. Getting close to the stream. Oh, let me see. Oh, almost there. Oh, I'm saying, yeah. So we reached the last point, which is at the stream. It looks like a pretty big drop over there. I'm gonna go check it out in a moment. So now I'll put the tape, and this is the last post. So I got the camera it takes the GPS <laughs> there we go it goes down pretty 
big drop there. There's some more paths going in. Beautiful rock formations. What are we gonna do? I can't really tell in the video, but it's very far down, it's scary, standing right in the water. If it takes me away, I'm done. Alright, butterfly. <laughs> Middle now, there's a really good path, and there is a lot of hardwood trees, Copal. Strong hardwoods, Guantón Macho. Este también, Guantón Macho. Very strong wood, and there's copal, which is also fruit. Beautiful place. It's time for a shower, finally. Took a while to get there. And now I can relax, lunchtime. And I go back to FH1. Put the GPS. You wanna look at how my path went? It's really interesting. I'm curious and uh, took photos as well of each spot. So I might upload those to uh, two files uh, to the cloud. Post. You want a little shower from hundreds of meters up high. Beautiful. Similar to FH3 stream, we got the red water. Sometimes you find things like this in the jungle. Oh yeah, gonna go for a shower. And then a shower sounds about right to me. That was amazing. I have to get closer so you guys can see this place is fantastic. <laughs> I was just thinking, like, another day in the office for me, you know? How's your Tuesday looking? Wow. It's been very satisfying, nevertheless, to uh, see this place. It's really good to get out of the booth. It's just really hard without boots, but everything, and been able to submerge in there. It's shallow, but a really cool spot, really amazing. A bit too high for, yeah, I mean, I can shower, but yeah, anyway, it's incredible. Place. And I imagine there's a lot of these uh, waterfalls down below, so whoever snaps up FH8, I don't know. That's rather incredible. <laughs> yeah. So, looking forward to that. And, uh, we Kind of weird natural foam. Wonder what that is. You need natural soap, I guess. There you go. Natural soap for you. Clean yourself with this. Feels good. Clean everybody, natural world, <laughs> what's going on? He says I'm not showering. You guys are wrong. Shower in nature. I mean, I wouldn't call this a path. Like some jungle route. You gotta climb to get anywhere. Finally, just about 
out of the pasture. Thought it would give you a little update, Rob. There's Rolini is a really nice. Get a video. There's some Rolinias growing beautifully. You can probably expect the fruit next year, possibly this year. I didn't look closely, but they might start flowering. Yeah, it looks great. Let's see how the rest looks if you want. You got some banana racks coming, small. Oh yeah, the stuff down there was cleared. I remember planting, I think it was a jackfruit abu, something like that with you. Some little banana racks are forming and some more bananas. The guava's growing. I'm sure lots of stuff is growing back there. But I'm not gonna visit anyway. So, I'm gonna go back with each one.